Starship's industrial splash pad just switched on as a static fire looms on the horizon. Falcon Heavy prepares to light up the night sky, Crew 7 aims to do the same, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. After last Friday's episode dropped, Elon tweeted, or X'd, out a couple photos of the next Starship Super Heavy rocket to attempt orbit. As we discussed, Booster 9 joined Starship 25 down Highway 4 at the launch site. But then the booster underwent a propellant load test on Sunday, fully loading both the LOX and methane tanks. Booster 10 also experienced some cryo at Massey's test site and was joined by Starship 28 on Friday that was first hoisted onto a thrust simulator stand. 27 was cut in half, revealing an imploded common dome that separates its methane and LOX tanks, which is speculated as the reason why it's no longer in the lineup. Also recently scrapped was SN15, the Starship prototype that conducted the final suborbital test flight in May of 2021. But back to the current lineup. With Booster 9 resting upon it, SpaceX conducted a full pressure test of the new Starship flame deflector just moments ago, lasting for about 20 seconds. You may have noticed the splash pad didn't spray up V9's skirt, and I imagine that was done purposefully for this test as to not damage the engines. The next box to check for B9 is a spin prime and static fire, which will also test the new splash pad under the OLM. However, at this time, no road closures are scheduled for that. Although Elon said a couple months ago that he expects a July launch, obviously that's not going to happen, as expected by the rest of us. The FAA recently told the San Antonio Express that the rocket is still grounded until SpaceX can produce its final accident report for the previous attempt to orbit. Moving on, SpaceX's 50th mission launched last night. Falcon 9 hoisted 22 more Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit from Slick 40, Florida. Towards the 15th mission for the first stage booster, licking clouds on its way down to the drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas bobbing on the Atlantic Ocean. After one scrubbed attempt to launch the third Falcon Heavy of the year on Wednesday night, SpaceX is now aiming for tonight at 11.04 p.m. Eastern for liftoff. Launch board has started. Weighing in at just over 9 tons, Jupiter 3 will be the heaviest satellite sent to geostationary orbit. Also this week, SpaceX and NASA confirmed that Dragon Crew 7 had their mission to the space station pushed to August. And in response to Boeing's failed Starliner program, Elon wrote that his company has provided its knowledge of crewed chute systems to their company and is happy to be helpful in other ways. Designing chutes for orbital crewed spacecraft is much harder than it seems, was a major challenge for SpaceX. If you would like to know why chutes are so challenging and awesome, check out the chute documentary I released in 2020, just days before SpaceX's first crewed demo mission. But meow, it's time for today's honorable mention. On Wednesday, NASA and DERPA announced Lockheed Martin will develop a spacecraft to demo nuclear propulsion technologies in orbit around Earth no later than 2027. The half a billion dollar program is called DRACO, and Lockheed will be working with BWXT, which will provide the nuclear reactor and uranium fuel. The engine will burn liquid hydrogen to produce thrust, and means much higher efficiency and more agility with faster speeds on missions to Mars. Well, that's all, folks. Thanks for tuning in. And many thanks to all of you who support the show with your hard-earned coins. Do have a nominal weekend, and until next time, Godspeed.